Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of PDP Nelfi, yep, that's me. In today's video, I'm once again in my favorite spot in the forest, which is full of green stuff and things alive and way too many mosquitoes. So if I do this, I'm just being eaten alive right now for this video. <laughs> In this video I want to talk about three terms specifically and a fourth community term. More specifically about kini, kining and a kin, as well as the kini community. And in this video I want to more specifically explain what I mean those words, what the history is behind it, what it is used for when someone actually uses it for themselves and in a legit way, as well as my opinions and stuff like that. So it's a very general video. First of all, kinney. Kinney is a noun used to describe something or someone. Kinney is used as a term to indicate a term or an other kin. When someone calls themselves a kinney, they most often just want to call themselves a cute term because they think kinney equals to a young other kin, by example. But for some people, actually use it to indicate they are a term or other kin that has chosen to kin a species or an animal or a chapter or anything else. Most kinnies are found in a separate community rather than a term and other kin community itself. And they are often more seen as something separated from their and other kin and not an actual term or other kin. The history of Kinney is that Kinney was created by haters and trolls, mainly on Tumblr, to try to ridicule Terra as an other kin, to try to hurt them. It was a declaratory term and it was based on Trenny, which is used to ridicule and invalidate and hurt transgender people actually. Over time, the Tumblr community adopted this term. Some thought it was actually cute. The general opinion of the community is that this term shouldn't be used because one, it could still hurt someone actually. And also because it sounds pretty childish. Kenny sounds like it is some kind of hobby or choice or something cute, like roleplay or something. It doesn't sound serious at all. Kinning is actually a verb that indicates that you are choosing to identify as a certain chapter, species, animal or whatever. When someone uses kinning, as in I'm kinning a wolf or today I kin a cat, usually implies they are choosing to identify as this animal being or anything else. Most often even if you further on ask questions to this person, it goes no further than a connection or relating to the chapter or role playing as a chapter or just placing your mindset in the character for a day for a moment by choice. Rather than an internal identity, the history of kinning is really no different than that some people, mostly people who call themselves skinny and mostly on Tumblr, decided to create a term that is indicating they're choosing to identify as a certain character or species or being or anything. And that term was kinning to kin. Now interesting to note is that some were used today I'm kinning as a wolf and today a king a cat actually seriously imply I'm identifying as a wolf, I'm identifying as a cat in the same way that the turn and our other king legit identifies us internally as this being. Such so people used to say this term should be legit and actually accepted by the community but most people will actually say it is too confusing and too risky because most people will say today I'm kinning thing and I kinned in yesterday will imply, actually imply that are choosing to identify as this being temporarily and most often not even as a legit identity. You better just use I identify as really. Therefore, most of the community will actually highly disagree and discourage the use of kinning as a verb to like indicate you're identifying as an animal. Because honestly it sounds like a choice a hobby, something you're doing, an action that you're choosing to do. And if someone hears this and relates this to Terran or other I actually think you're out just choosing to roleplay like an animal, basically. Then a kin is not the same as a kin type or being a wolf kin, by example. Kin in this case is used as in yesterday my kin was a cat and today my kin is a wolf, which implies that the skin is a chosen identity rather than a kin type, which is an identity of a terrible other kin or wolf kin, implying that your kin type is a wolf. The history of a kin, as in my kin is a wolf, basically just is that some people who used the word kinny for themselves and kinning for themselves decided to create a new term to indicate a third type or a, a kin type, but then a chosen third type or kin type, and that was a kin. But most often when people use 
my kin is a wolf, they still mean my kin type is a wolf. So they are usually still legit all the Canadians, and the chance is much smaller that they are playing, that they are choosing the skin type temporarily or just now. Or so the majority of the community will not actually have a problem with the use of my kin is. However, I still discourage this a bit because it might get confusing. And then you have the kinny community. Now, what is a kinny community, and what makes it so different from the other king Alteran community? The kinny community is not just another word for a community of other king Alteran. First of all, it mainly exists out of children or young teens, which is on itself fine, of course, but it also means that it will mainly exist out of role players, furries, and anything else than actual Terrans and all again. So this community is surrounding people who choose to identify as a character or species or animal and using Terran or looking terminology even if they're not an actual Terran or looking by their definitions. Because Terrans and other kin do not consciously identify as an animal, they don't choose to be that animal, they just identify as it. Much like how our transgender doesn't choose to be a boy or a girl, but just feels like they are a boy or a girl. Those sounds are going around in the communities quite a lot at this moment, mostly by kinnies who are kind of spreading out in the communities of Terran Olekin and calling themselves both a kinny and an Olekin and saying that a fiction kin is the same as a coping link uh, was coping with a fictional character and <laughs> everything. So you will probably see this term of kinny, kinning, to kin, kin, etc. at some point or another and now you know what those terms mean was indicated with them, the history behind them and the opinion of the majority of the community. I choose to identify something, I don't really care, that is a legit experience, often use it for coping, really helpful even for coping, but it just makes you a coping linker. You already have a community, coping linking, coping linker, a coping link, stuff like that. And this can be really fine, it's a cousin of Terra and Olekin, it falls under the same umbrella term of other human. Please share your opinions down below about what you think about the word kinning, kinny, kin. Can really, it all sounds so similar that I get really confused of it. I will never survive in the kinny community. Well, I'm tired of being eaten alive by mosquitoes. I hope this video was some kind of information to you and you enjoyed it. Maybe. Move, <laughs> <laughs>